The conclusion of Hunter's season 2 leaves Travis's destiny unclear, but the show makes suggestions about how his story can develop. I'm the future. The final batch of episodes concluded the main storylines, including Jonah's conflict with the most notorious Nazis in history, after Amazon Prime revealed that Hunter's season 2 would be the series' final season. Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun are eventually apprehended by Jonah and the Hunters in Argentina, where they witness the trial of the century, in which Hitler is convicted of his crimes against humanity. They also manage to apprehend Hitler and bring him to the authorities. However, Hunter's season 2 ending leaves off with the idea that Hitler may be in prison, but there are still plenty more hidden Nazis, inspired by real-life figures who have yet to be exposed for their crimes. One such figure is Travis Like, an American neo-Nazi who worked closely with the colonel, aka Hitler's wife Eva Braun, to begin the Fourth Reich. In Hunter's season 2 finale, Travis kills Eva Braun and tries to help Hitler escape as he takes over as the new young leader of the criminal neo-Nazi party. Jonah ends up finding Travis and stopping his plans to aid Hitler, with Joe shooting Travis before the villain jumps off the building to an ambiguous fate. Travis survived in the Hunters' season 2 finale, officers glanced over the edge when Travis fell from the building, but they couldn't see anything, this suggests that Travis lived in the Hunters' season 2 finale. Hunter's season 1's finale had Travis mentioning that he had gathered his own army of neo-Nazis after being imprisoned, hence, the show suggests that he has a large network of friends who may assist him in fleeing as soon as his wounds are healed. It's hardly shocking that Travis made it through a shot to the shoulder in the finale after earlier survived a gunshot wound to the face in Hunter's season 2. It's still curious that Jonah and the Hunters neglected to mention Travis's survival in Hunter's ending as he continues to be just as much a threat to humanity as the World War II Nazis they're still hunting. Since Hunter's season 3 isn't happening, the entire fate of Travis and his future plans will never be revealed, but there are enough hints at the end to suggest how a third season would have commenced. Jonah is implied to still be hunting Nazis after Hitler's capture, which would inevitably lead him to Travis and his evil mission. Travis may still be alive in Amazon's Hunter's season 2 finale, but he likely would have been killed soon after. Will Travis try to lead the Fourth Reich? Travis killed Eva Braun in Hunter's season 2 finale so that he could be the new face and leader of the Nazi movement. Considering Hitler is also in solitary prison with no power whatsoever, Travis is now seemingly the de facto leader of the Fourth Reich. After using his time in prison to appeal to angry white men, Travis has grown a neo-Nazi party with more followers than Eva and Hitler amassed during their 30 years in hiding. With both Eva and Hitler out of commission, Travis would have been the most imminent threat for Jonah and the Nazi hunters to stop. Travis's unclear survival in the TV series that ends in 2023 hints that he will continue to live underground while advancing his cause. Travis would ostensibly exploit the notion that Eva and Hitler were unsuccessful in their goals to bolster support for his leadership, ushering in a very dangerous neo-Nazi movement in the US. If Hunter's season 3 had received an Amazon renewal, the show probably would have focused on the neo-Nazi terror that occurred in the 1980s and 1990s under Travis's fictional rule of the Fourth Reich.